This is Minecraft, but enchants are infinite. Today, Minecraft enchantments are about to go from level one to level infinity? From sharpness infinity to multi-shot infinity to even completely new infinity enchants. My goal is to unlock all possible level infinity enchants, but as I unlock more enchantments, the challenges might be getting a little bit too crazy. So, what's the final level infinity enchant? And what happens if I put a level infinity enchant on one item? Stay tuned to find out. Is that a pickaxe inside of stone? Wait, what? Wait, can I pull it out? Okay, when I right click it, it's slowly coming out. A rainbow pickaxe. I feel massive power coming from the pickaxe. Holy what the heck? That's so many enchantments I can't even read. Okay, wait. So what happens if I right click it? Oh, wait, what? Hello? World of enchants. My journey begins. You've unlocked your first enchantment. Wait, why do I have that many levels? Right. So with that being done, guys, I guess that starts the challenge and we got our first enchantment, which is going to be multi-shot. Fire volley of items. You may use this enchant with swords, pickaxes, and bows. What what else did we get? We also got enchantment tracker and infinity anvil, a stone pickaxe, okay, and some bucks. Do I just put the stone pickaxe with the multi shot book? I mean, we do have infinite levels, so why not? Let's go ahead and put the stone pickaxe and multi shot infinity, and then we get a multi shot infinity stone pickaxe. Do I just right click? Oh my! New crafts unlocked apparently, and what the heck? So that's gonna be our first level infinity enchant, and I'm very pleased. So let's go back to the enchantment tracker, and apparently for this level, we gotta make light. Lightning Infinity, Sharpness Infinity, and we already have Multi-Shot Infinity, which is the craftable one. I kind of want Sharpness Infinity because I feel like that'd be a really good sword. And for that, we get it from a Villager trade. And at the top, we can now see that throughout the video, my goal is to get to the final enchantment at the very end. And right now, we're only at level one. So how good can these enchantments get? And now, I guess let's do a Villager trade. Really interesting village. It's literally a library village. Wait, what? Why is the sun the YouTube logo? Is that a good time to remind you guys that if you guys are new to the channel, to feel free to click that subscribe button right now because we're trying to hit 5 million subscribers. So thank you very much to the sun and now let's find this villager. What about you? <gasps> oh, it is him. So for eight dirt, which is a really good bargain, we get the sharpness book. In sharpness book, injure enemies and call down swords. Enchantment two out of 30 unlocked and I may use this enchantment with swords. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but it's literally a sharpness infinity book. And what are we going to get with this one this time? I'm really curious what the all the enchantments this video are. So sharpness infinity and I guess we'll put down the stone sword. And what does this do? then do i just right click oh my what the heck and so many swords that's crazy anyways one thing i did realize is we can also craft all the enchantment books including the next one we gotta get and that's the lightning book which we don't have diamonds so i'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way and that's by a good old drop from the village so i gotta figure that out but if i want another sharpness book i just gotta do eight sticks and one book or for another multi-shot book we gotta get string and flint but for now where do i get the lightning book from the village oh wait this guy's new wait what the heck would you be interested in seeing my latest work it uses the latest villager tech. Is that your latest work? Now I just press this button and uh oh, I can't turn it off. Wait, what the heck? Oh, wait, no, he's not friendly. Okay, go on, swords. Oh, wait, we got him. A lightning book was firing the golem and little golems came out. So from killing the buff copper golem, we get a lightning book and that's gonna be three out of 30. You may use this enchant with swords. So can I add lightning to sharpness then? Lightning infinity, sharpness infinity. Wait, how does this work? Okay, so lightning infinity and sharpness infinity, what do you do? Oh, that's sick. What? I got me to pick. Okay, so it does lightning around me and flying swords. Nice. Okay, so that's gonna be lightning infinity. And I guess that'll be it for level one. So do I just right click this now? Oh, there we go. Perk item updated. Witch hut unlocked. Um, okay, I guess we gotta go all the way over there. And this time the enchantments are giant infinity, fortune infinity, and infinity infinity. <laughs> Wait, what? Very interesting choice. And we gotta craft that one. Okay, so giant infinity is from the witch hut. So let's go over there, I guess. Okay, so unlocked at three enchantments. And if you look at the very top, our progress bar did go up a little bit. So I guess let's go inside. Fight the witch. Wait, what witch? Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh, wait, what? I thought I one hit it. Giant witch. Oh, we're doing this. Okay. Okay. I should have made armor. I literally have no armor. There better be some good armor enchantments. Oh, go on swords. Oh, she does so much damage. Couple more hits. She's healing. What the heck? Yes. Okay. Just like that. That's going to be it for the witch. And we ended up getting, oh, literally a giant bug and a broken compass. Enchant power six required. Okay. So real quick, let's roll quick. We can make some crafting tables and see what we can do with this giant book. Do I right click it? Giant book, make your items massive. So now we have a giant infinity enchant, which is completely new. And we also got four out of 30. Nice. I may use enchant with swords, pickaxes, and bows. So I only have one of them for now until I craft another one. So do I put it on the pickaxe or the sword? I mean, multi shot plus giant infinity. That kind of sounds really OP. Why not? Let's go ahead and try it. So does something happen when I left click it? Oh, wait, what the heck? 
That's a big pickaxe. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm gonna guess I can't add any more enchantments to this thing anymore, but that's insane. Okay. Wait, what if I like shift mine or something? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, this thing is huge. Okay. But anyways, let's get to the next enchantment now because we gotta do all of them. And that's gonna be for a pickaxe where we get Fortune Infinity Cave Miner Challenge. So where do I do the Cave Miner Challenge? Is it in here or did I destroy it? Let me real quick try to find that. Is it uh, over here? Oh, wait, there is someone down there. And he says, oh, hi there. Are you looking for something? I see. So you are trying to collect all the enchantments. I have something that may work for you, but it will come at a cost. I gotta give four books to the miner. Um, sure. Here you go. Four books right here. Amazing. My boss will be happy about this. And that's all I gotta do. Okay, why not? I'll gladly take that enchantment book right now. And I guess now we have a good old fortune infinity book, which is gonna maybe crash my PC. That's a lot of fortune. Increase ore drops massively. Enchantment 530 unlocked. And I may use this enchantment with pickaxes. So I'm kind of curious. Because I do have the giant pickaxe, can I add it? <gasps> so this has multi jaw and giant, but it's hidden. And now we have fortune infinity. So, okay. So fortune infinity, what do you do exactly? Oh my, okay. We will never need iron ever again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways, with that being done, the next thing we got to make is going to be infinity infinity, which is going to be with two feathers and two flint. So we definitely got to find some chickens and we definitely got to find some gravel. So, oh, gravel right here. Not bad. And does it work with a pickaxe? Oh, it does. Oh, that's sick. Okay. It doesn't give me like a lot of it, but we did get four flint. Not bad. And now we just need some feathers. So give me one sec, guys. Anyways, now we should have enough stuff for the infinity infinity book. So let's go ahead and make that. And enchantment six out of 30 unlocked. Fill the world with arrows and I may use this enchant with bows. Oh, wait, do I have a bow? I don't have a bow. Oh, no. Let's, I guess, try to find a mine shaft. I guess we can just go down. Down we go. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So, um, may have gone poisoned, but we did get some cobwebs. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get all the string we can. Thank you very much. So infinity infinity. What does this? This do I guess right here? Here we go. Oh, okay. So when I left click, it's literally a machine weapon. Wait, what the heck? Can I pick these up? <gasps> Infinite arrows. Anyways, I guess now we can right click this to get to the next thing. There we go. Perk item updated. Experience bottle unlocked. So now we have luck infinity, feather falling infinity, and efficiency infinity. Oh, wait, what does luck infinity do? Climb to the top of the bottle of enchanting. Okay, well, let's go back there and I guess let's do some parkour. Okay, so unlocked at six enchantments, and now we have a giant bottle of enchanting with is that liquid water wait how do i get inside oh gosh oh this may have been a bad idea what the heck okay up we go ow the bottle has absorbed you i did not think that was gonna happen okay this is different i was supposed to go into the middle wait is the water going up okay this is not good okay let's go let's go let's go i did not realize this was a time challenge <gasps> oh i almost fell okay okay let's go let's go let's go let's go oh my goodness oh my goodness are we almost to the top oh gosh okay what even is up here all this for literally a luck enchantment this better be good. Almost up and okay. Oh, we made it. I've escaped the infinity XP bottle. You found a reward along the way. Wait, where, where's my reward? Is it here? Oh, wait. Oh, we got the luck book. Okay. So now we have a luck infinity. Make the world lucky. You may use this enchantment with a pickaxes. Because we already have a giant pickaxe, I'm kind of curious. Let's go ahead and make an iron pickaxe and get an iron pickaxe with luck infinity. So what does this do when I right click? Oh, that's not lucky at all. An overwhelming heat burns the air. That wasn't lucky at all. Okay. I almost died there. My goodness. Goodness. So something happens every time I mine. Let's try again. Oh, I feel renewed and we got an emerald block. Okay. Yep. Yep. So far, this is not lucky at all. Okay. Go, go, go on my swords. Get them. So whenever I want to use this pickaxe, something random will happen and we can also get a diamond block. Yes. Anyways, now with that being done, we got luck infinity and the next one is feather falling infinity at the trade house. What the heck is the trade house? Oh, wait, did this guy leave from there? Hello? Oh, four feathers for a feather falling book. I only have three, but I now get why there's so many chickens. So chickens, I'm so sorry, but there we go. Okay. And now with the villager, let's go ahead and trade for the book and we get the feather falling book, which when we hover over it, we can now see that it's feather falling infinity yet again. And that's going to be eight out of 30. I may use this enchant with boots real quick. Let's make myself some good old diamond boots. Love me some diamond boots. And I guess with the feather falling infinity, we can make feather falling infinity. And what is this going to do for me? Feather falling ability unlocked. Is that with this ability button? Oh, wait, what? I literally have a full-on scaffolding under me. Oh, that's sick. We only have one more enchantment to make, and that's going to be Efficiency Infinity. And for the Efficiency Infinity book, we can actually go ahead and make it right away, and that's going to be with sticks and an iron ingot. So, Efficiency Infinity, and no block shall stand in your path. Enchantment 9 out of 30 unlocked. You may use this enchant with pickaxes. Let's go ahead and just make an iron pickaxe real quick and try using Efficiency Infinity on just a normal pickaxe. So, how does this one work? Oh, my. Okay, so I can mine really quick, but 
but when I right click, that's very good. We're going to be finding any cave in the game with this. Anyways, with that being done, I think we can go ahead and right click the tracker again. And as you can see from the top, we're almost halfway done with all the enchants. So here we go. Oh, there we go. Perk item updated. And now we have the enchantment tracker number four. And now we can get YouTuber infinity. That sounds crazy. Sweeping edge infinity and chunk infinity. And for the chunk book, we need four iron pickaxes and cobblestone. So one, two, three. There we go. Okay. So now we can make the chunk book, which what the heck is the chunk book going to do? Mining one at a time is not enough. Enchantment 10 out of 30 unlocked. And I can use this with pickaxes. And what if we combine efficiency infinity with chunk infinity? That's going to be 20 levels. Do I just mine? <gasps> oh, wait, crafty Minecraft, but I'm trapped in a stone block. This challenge is so hard. Only if some subscribers could help me. Oh, hi, Nestor. Beautiful cave, isn't it? Would you mind collecting some subscribers? I have heard they're near the surface. Here's a tool to help you. Oh, wait, it's a million subscribers. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so wait, what tool did he give me? Wait, what the heck is this? A lasso. Do I just collect subscribers like this? Oh, plus 100k subscribers. This is so weird. What the heck? Okay, crafty. I'll do your challenge. Why not? Let's go ahead and lasso some subscribers and I better be getting an enchantment for this. Oh, that's going to be 300k subscribers. All right, crafty. I'm almost done. Another subscriber right there. And just like that, I think we should be good. Let's go back to crafty and I guess talk to him. That was so amazing, Nestor. Here's your reward. And with that being done, we get the YouTuber infinity enchantment, which I have no idea what it's going to do. And Chad says, make mob smash the like button. 11 out of 30 enchantments unlocked. You may use this enchant with swords. And now we got a new sword. Nice. Okay, so any mobs? Hello? Mobs? Uh, I'm trying to hit someone. Oh, wait, diamond. Nice. Do I have infinity? Holy diamonds. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is going to be more diamonds than we'll ever need. Thank you very much. Ooh, wait, glowfish. This might be a good one. Yo, okay. So whenever I hit a mob with this now, I guess I get a little YouTuber friend. Oh, now we got forest. Oh, that's sick. Okay, with that being done, I think that might be all the enchantments except sweeping edge infinity. So what do we need for that? Oh, wait, we already have it. Okay, sweeping edge book. There we go. And so what does this do? Sweep the blocks in your path. I may use this enchant with diamond swords and pickaxes. I mean, I haven't made a diamond sword yet, so why not? Let's go and make one of those. So, sweeping edge infinity. And so, what does this do? Oh, that's sick. Okay, it's like a little force field. Nice. Okay. Anyways, though, now that we have all the enchantments for number four, let's go ahead and right click and get to the next one. Perk item updated. Visit Zeus in the mountain. Was Zeus in the mountain? Wait, what? Like the god Zeus? What the heck? Okay. And all the enchantments are from Zeus now. Riptide infinity. That sounds crazy. Storm infinity and flame infinity. Well, let's go up and try to find Zeus. So, I've been following the Zeus tracker. Anyways, there's a chair up here. Now that we've gotten finally through this thing, the Zeus compass has been taking me here for a while. And is that Zeus? The weather's getting bad. It's been a while since anyone visited me. How about a deal? I give you three challenges and if you survive them, I'll reward you. I mean, that's all I gotta do. Sure. Very well. The first challenge will be an earthquake. Wait, what do you mean an earthquake? Earthquake starting in five seconds. Wait, what? Oh, it's only an earthquake. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. 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 That should just damage. Oh my gosh. I thought Zeus did storms, not natural disasters. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You've done well. Now now it's time for a tsunami. Wait, what? Well, tsunami starting in five seconds. Are you serious? What the heck? I don't have enough bread for this. I gotta go get more bread. Okay, I have a golden apple at least. Oh, yo, wait. No, 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 no. Why is the water hurting me? Okay, okay. We're dodging the water. We're dodging the water. Okay, this is a bit much. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just dodge it real quick. We're actually doing a pretty good job of dodging the water. I'm not sure how this is a tsunami, but it's pretty cool. Oh, we did it. Okay, and now we fire tornado in five seconds. Oh, no, go away. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Fire tornadoes. This is not fun. This is not fun. Let's run away. Oh, my goodness. Just dodge and weave. We're good. That was amazing to watch. Now return for the rewards. Oh, man. Okay, I think we're done. Nice. All right, Mr. Zeus, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and grab everything we can. And my broken compass has started working. Oh, okay. So now the compass is no longer a broken compass, but a working compass. And we also got a Poseidon map, a storm book, a riptide book, and a flame book. My goodness. Okay, that's a lot of stuff to really work with. So real quick, let's get the riptide book. Call the water, enchantment 14 out of 30. And this is going to be 15 out of 30 with call the fire. Okay, so where do I begin with these? What if we do riptide? infinity and sweeping edge infinity. Okay, so I can use a sword now as a trident. Oh, that's sick. Guys, I literally can fly infinitely now with my sword. This is amazing. And we're not done there yet because we can also try storm infinity. Why not? Storm infinity? What does this do? Wait, did I just call in a tornado? Oh my gosh. Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's sick. And we're not done there yet because why not? If we add to our very good sword right here, flame infinity, what is flame infinity going to give us? Right click? 
Oh, okay. So when you add flame to a sword, you now shoot out fireballs instead of fire arrows. That's very nice. I like that. And with that being done, I guess it's time to upgrade the enchantment tracker. So here we go. Right click in three, two, one, and perk item updated. Enchanting table unlocked, like the big enchanting table. Wait, what do we get this time? Knockback infinity, jump infinity, and loyalty infinity. And to get knockback infinity, we got to follow the working compass. Okay, well, we got to go straight this way, apparently. Oh, there it is. So it sent me to the giant enchanting table and unlocked at 15 enchantments. So I guess we're supposed to be here. Right, so do I just climb this thing? I should probably get some food before I do this, but you know what? We're going to do either way. Oh, and it's literally a parkour. Loki, I could skip the parkour with my riptide, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay, now we should be good. Oh, wait, what? Keep the mobs away? Are those like speed little slimes? Go on, fireballs. Do your thing. Oh, it's raining swords. So with that being done, platform defended, I've been awarded the knockback enchantment. Now let's go ahead and grab that, and that's going to be the knockback enchantment, which all it says is yeet. Nice. Loki, I kind of want to try this out on a new sword just to see what it does, because when you have so many enchantments, it kind of gets chaotic, so why not? Let's go ahead and get a new diamond sword, and now try knockback infinity. How crazy is this going to be? Okay, so I can't hit anything just yet, so let me real quick save this for until we get done with the slime parkour, and then see what it does. So, let's go up real quick. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty fun. Nice. Okay, so what's in here? You've obtained the jump book. Jump infinity. This is used on boots, so I guess let's real quick get feather falling infinity, jump infinity. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, I still took fall damage, even though I have fall damage infinity, but I think it pretty much makes me get a slime when I fall. Oh, it does. Oh, that's sick. Nice. Okay. What about knockback infinity? Okay, let's see. What can I hit real quick? All right, Mr. Cow. Oh, okay. Anyways, what enchantment do we not have? We don't have loyalty infinity, which is usually used for a trident. So what the heck is it going to do now? And there it is. A loyalty infinity projectiles will always return. I may use this enchant with diamond swords and pickaxes. I mean, I'm kind of really curious. So yet again, I'm going to make a diamond sword and let's see what exactly this thing does. I really like the knockback infinity. So what does this do? I can shoot a sword now and it came back. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So I can literally shoot infinite swords. So now that we're done with all those three enchantments, let's go ahead and right click one more time and see what the next tier is. Perk item updated and launch pad unlocked. Wait, launch pad. What do we have to make now? Planetary infinity, boss infinity, and looting infinity. Wait, what the heck? Launch under enchantment. Wait, where's under enchantment? Give me one sec, guys. Let me try to find that. Oh, wait, I didn't see this before. Jump to go to space? Wait, what? Did I just jump? Oh, the launch pad sends you to space. Astronaut. What's up, buddy? Howdy, Nestor. The moon is scary, so could you place these flags for me? Sure. Oh, whoa, wait. You gave me a full-on spacesuit. Okay, let's go out and put this on. Why not? And we're now going out to space, so start the space music, I guess? Okay, so I gotta place the flags. I'm gonna guess it's over here. All right, that's gonna be one flag. Number two. Number three. Wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. Go on, swords. Get them. Apparently, there's aliens in space. Oh, wait. Thanos now? Doesn't even make any sense. Where did Thanos come from? Go away. Go away. Okay. Done with Thanos. And what the heck did we get from that? Is this the boss enchantment? Oh, it is. Oh, that's sick. We didn't even get done with the flags. Throw bosses. Wait, what? Is that what we're going to do with this? Okay. That's nine out of 30. Let's go ahead and place down all these flags. And I guess one more right here. And there we go. Good job. Now those aliens will now know not to mess with Nesterland again. I found a book when I first landed here. You can have it. I'll repair the rocket so you can return home. Oh, and we got the planetary book. Oh, we got some back. Nice. Okay. That was a nice little trip. And with those books done, the only thing we have left now is the looting book. And actually, I want to see if I can already make it. I probably can. No, I need gold ingots and that's the one thing I don't have. Okay, let's get the anvil real quick. And I guess, what do I add it to? I guess loyalty and boss. Why not? Let's try that. What does this do? Right click. Oh, <gasps> guys, I literally shoot out Thanos. What the heck? Okay, so what about planetary? Might be a lot of enchantments in one, but I mean, it's gonna be a good sword. So right click. Wait, stars incoming? Well, what does that mean? Oh, yo, I can summon the stars. Oh, that's sick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's that going? Oh, okay. That was actually really cool. Not really sure how, how I use it against a boss, but I think that's really powerful. Nice. But for now, the new mission is to probably get a lot of gold. So I guess let's go down in that cave. Okay, we got a little bit of gold right here. And which one's my fortune pickaxe? Fortune, fortune, fortune. Oh, I have so many pickaxes. Oh, it's this one right here. There we go. Holy gold. Wait, why is there so many silver fish? I didn't want that. Let's real quick get all the gold we need. Now with that being done, let's go back up. And what we got to do now is make the looting book, which is going to be right here. And so what does this give me? Normal loot is not enough. Enchantment 21 out of 30. So we saw 
have nine more to go and I can use this one on sword. So I guess let's real quick. What do we put this on? What about here? Not really sure why I have knockback infinity twice, but I guess why not? Knockback infinity and looting infinity. Okay, so what happens if I hit the cow once? Oh, it just dropped something. A golden rotten flesh. So that's what looting infinity does? What does it do? Yeah, what does this do? Oh, I'm not really sure what the heck just happened, but I guess I'll take it. Anyways, now that we have all these enchantments, I guess let's go on to the next tier. And that's done by just right click. Perk item updated. Visit Poseidon in the ocean. Wait, how do I do that? Okay, now we have ocean infinity, which is follow up Poseidon's map. And then with the ocean tier, we're also getting fire resistance infinity and fire aspect infinity. Okay, so the Poseidon map now leads me to where I gotta go if we look at the action bar. So gotta go that way. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. Oh, wait, I think we found it. Okay, so we ended up finding Poseidon, which is just Alex from Minecraft, huh? Um, okay. Well, what's up, Poseidon? I see you visited my brother Zeus. A book. I suppose I could give you that. However, you must beat this challenge first and prove your trident skills. Swim through the fire rings. So we got a brand new trident. So do I just go through here? Oh, there is fire rings. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so I gotta swim through these things right here. Okay, that's two more to go. Couple more to go. Oh, and we did it, apparently. I see you're skillful with the trident. Come here to claim your reward. All right, let's go back. Oh, he's no longer Alex. Nice. All right, what's up, Poseidon? Oh, he dropped at the bottom of the sea. We now have the ocean book. So what does this give us? Summon water. All right, well, let's try that out. Let's go over here real quick. And for the ocean book, I guess I could maybe put it on the bow. Ocean. And how do I use this? Do I just right click? Oh, yo, that's sick. Probably shouldn't do that again. So now for the opposite of that, we're going to be making fire resistance and fire aspect. Okay, so for fire aspect, I actually got to go to the nether and get magma blocks. Or maybe I can get it from a cave. I'm going to try to do that. And then we can also make the fire resistance book. Okay, we found some magma. And I guess we just mine it now real quick. I'm not really sure how much we need, but let's get all this out of the way. And now with the magma, we can go ahead and make the fire aspect book. And to make the fire resistance book, I think we should have everything we need, right? And with the fire aspect booked, we can make everything be core fire. Okay, how does this work? So could I technically just add this to a dandelion? Oh gosh, wait, this looks very deadly. Fire aspect infinity dandelion. Watch this not work. Does this work? Wait, what? A fire creeper. What does this guy do? Oh, and I made the fire creeper into dream. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and make the fire resistance book because I'm not even going to question it. All right, there we go. A fire resistance book. And with the fire resistance book, what does this thing do? Fire is no more. You may use this enchant with armor. Oh, I should probably make some more armor. Let's go to make a diamond chest plate. Probably about time. A lot of you guys complain that I never make armor in these challenges. And honestly, it's just because I kind of forget. But fire resistance infinity. And I'm going to guess I won't really be able to tell what it does until I go into fire. So maybe let's go find some lava real quick. Oh, wait, it auto converts lava into obsidian. Oh, that's sick. Okay. And I also get fire resistance too. So I guess that's handy. But with that being done, that I guess will finish level A. And slowly at the top, we're almost to the final book. So let's go ahead and right click and perk item updated. Nice. Okay. Nether portal unlocked. Oh, wait, we actually had a portal from earlier in the video that we saw. Let's go back there, I guess. And for this one, we also now have hero bride infinity. Okay. Wouldn't be a nice store video without hero bride. Netherite infinity and x-ray infinity. All these are brand new to the game. So I guess let's go back. Oh, it's already lit. And we got to enter the nether if I dare for hero brine. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, what? Defeat hero brine to explore the nether. Oh, okay. That's a little bit ominous. All right, here we go, buddy. Come on, go in raining swords. Get him. Oh, fire aspect infinity. Oh, I think we got him. Did he drop the book in here then? Oh, he did. All right. So hero brine level infinity. What the heck is this going to give me? Oh man. Okay. So what should I put this on? I mean, YouTuber fire aspect and now hero brine. This might be a bad idea. Okay. What does right clicking do now? Oh, I get to teleport now. Oh, that's sick. Wait, did I just get inside of here without trying? What the heck is going on? These are some ugly pillars. Oh, eight blocks of netherite for the netherite book. Okay. So I am supposed to be in here. Let's, I guess, just real quick, then mine all this netherite and I'm going to go ahead and trade 19 netherite blocks for one netherite book. Thank you very much. 26 out of 30. Throw netherite. Loki, kind of curious. What if I make a netherite enchanted bread? Netherite infinity on bread. This could either be a waste or something really good. So what does this do? Oh, wait, I'm shooting netherite. Oh, that's sick. What the heck? And for the last one we got to make, that's going to be x-ray, which is going to be four diamond pickaxes and one book, which shouldn't be too difficult. So one, two, three, four. Let's put that in and we can now make the x-ray book. And it says a little bit of cheating. So you can't have x-ray without a diamond pickaxe. So why not? Let's go ahead and get the diamond pickaxe out and combine. What if we do fortune infinity and x-ray actually? Okay. So how does this work then? Do I have to go back to the overworld? Let's go back real quick. Okay. So do I just right click? Oh, that's sick. Okay. So everything that's hidden underground becomes shown. Nice. And I guess what's left to do again is literally right click. And yet again, perk item upgraded. And we only have two enchantments this 
highest tier. Admin Infinity and Power Infinity. Crunchable with a curse and a gift from an owl. Do I go back to the village or something? Or maybe I got the craft. Oh, wait. We gotta get a curse book. Let me real quick try to explore some things, guys. Guys, I figured it out. And it was a little bit too expensive. But with eight blocks of netherite in one book, we can make the curse book. And now that we have the curse book, we can go ahead and make the admin book. So what does this do? Is this allowed? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna make a completely brand new sword for this. Just in case something bad happens. All right, admin infinity. Do I just right click with it? Wait, made next story of server operator. Fly enabled. Wait, what? Oh, when I left click, I can do a different command. So wait, type the new weather storm. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so it's stormy now. Nice. Okay, and then the teleport command. What does this do? Finding structure. Where the heck am I? Okay, do I just go up here? Whoa, okay, this is sick. Wait, what? Owl. Wait, where's the owl at? Oh, there it is. What's up, owl? Oh, go on my arrows. Get him. Oh, we're literally pelting this guy. He takes so many arrows. Couple more. And there we go. Wait, no, no, no. The book, the book. Apparently, the end portal has been lit, but we lost the book. Is there any other way to get the book? Let me double check this area. Okay, in the center of the thing, we have an extra one, and it was the power book. The power of the arrows in the palm of my hand. You may use this enchant with bows. So let's finally try this enchantment out. So what the heck does this do? Oh, yeah, that's really good. Anyways, we got the message that the portal had been lit. Oh, wait, there's a little thing right there. And oh, hello. We're now in the end. There's nothing here. Does something pop up as a dry? Oh, okay, that's a final boss. Go on, power infinity. Get him. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Wait, what the heck? We might be able to defeat this guy with this bow alone. Might as well throw in some swords too. Throw in some more arrows real quick. Might as well and throw some more swords. Let's keep going at it. Oh wait, we're almost done. Okay, one more shot. And there we go. That's gonna be it for the final boss, I think. And I think this might be the final infinity enchant that we see at the very top. Cursed text. I guess we'll do this on a diamond pickaxe or something. I'm not really sure, but oh wait, it's the rainbow pickaxe from before. It's literally everything from the game. So what happens when I right click? Why did the game freeze? Oh, so I guess the final enchantment is way too powerful and I just die. Did I lose? Anyways, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye guys.